What up, what up, retail family? Welcome back. It's your boy, D. I'm always going to start off by saying this is never financial advice. Don't take it as that. Take it for educational entertainment purposes only. And remember, this is all public information that we can all go find and research ourselves. So I wanted to talk about the threshold list because AMC is still on it, right? And I want to clear up some things about the threshold list, you know, um, how long it's been on there and whatnot. I'm going to prove to you guys right now, you know, Today would be day 20. So if AMC is on the threshold list, it would be day 20 because only trading days count. And we only get updates once a day at 10 p.m. Eastern. So as of yesterday, it would be day 19. If it's on there today, it would be day 20. And I personally would rather see AMC stay on the list than for it to not be on the list. Okay, because like in my video yesterday, I talked about how there's over 5,000 stocks in the market and there's only like 12 I think 12 or 13 companies, maybe 11. So there's only one page actually for yesterday. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's only 10 stocks that are on the threshold list for yesterday. Okay, we get the update tonight. Like I said, 10 p.m. Eastern. But it's amazing to me out of 5,000 stocks that are in the market that AMC is on the list. Okay, so today would be day 20. And I'm going to prove to you guys right now that the record... For AMC, the longest it has been on the threshold list is 44 trading days, right? So that's what I want to continue to see. So we go over to um, Twitter, right? And we want to shout out Blues Boy 77 He's always posting this information. As you can see, there is a, an estimated, according to our text, 25.88% of the free flow that is being shorted, which is, uh, th sorry, 38% of the free flow on loan which equals to 197.91 million shares that are on loan, right? So we've seen that. This is like a little preview, right? So according to this, a few hours ago, Ortex, AMC is still on the threshold list. So today would be day 20, and we know that the shorts have been doubling down with their short positions because the latest report shows 131.64 million shares that are on loan, okay? And I'm with the high cost to borrow fee and all that. But we're going to travel back in time we're going to look at GameStop, right? So this is GameStop. This is when it was on the threshold list from 12-8-2020 all the way until February 3rd, 2021. And we're going to look at the chart, right? So this is the GameStop daily chart. Each candle represents one day. And remember, I just said it was on there for 39 days. And um, when the squeeze happened, it was on the list. And on literally on the... <laughs> 36th day, the 35th day was 12, 12, 1, 12, 21. The next day, you get a big green candle, right? So in my opinion, this was them closing out the from the T plus 35. The original day got on the threshold. It's 12, 8, 2020. That was the last day they could go on without delivering these FTDs. And bam, right? They had to deliver, and that caused a huge price gap. And then the run started all the way up to here when they removed the buy button. And then on the 3rd, let's see, February 3rd, they were able to get enough shares to close out those FTDs to get it off the threshold list, in my opinion. So because a lot of people say, right, the threshold list is a nothing burger. It's been 13 days and so on. But in my opinion, the real number, the real days they have left to cover is the is the T plus 35. After that, there's no more time unless they transfer the position, right? Whoever is failing to deliver, they can also transfer the position to a different broker if the broker is willing to take on the risk. But if that was to happen, I think it would come off the, the list, right? Because it would reset the time. So remember that that was 39 trading days. Now let's go over to AMC. These are all the times that it's been on the threshold list. So when you had it from here, from 9-18-2020, all the way until 12-1-2020, that was, I think, 44 trading days. And then it shows the next the next times that it's been on and off the threshold list. So on the chart, let's go back. This is why we have to stay alert. You have to keep doing DD because anything can happen. So remember, back here, this is AMC. It was on the list for 44 trading days. And this was the price action we saw, a huge dump. And then it went back up. The next time, it got off the threshold list in between this time, December. Now, it got back on the list on December 17th, and it was on there for only seven days that time, right? 
And then literally the T plus 35 date um, was the same as it was the right around this time frame, right? When we saw this huge move up. They took away the buy button a couple of days later. We all know what happened there. The next time it was on the threshold list was nine trading days from this period to this period, which was in uh, June, June 28, 2021, all the way until July 8th, 2021, right? So we moved back, we've gone through all that, and this is where we're at right now. So we have been on the list for 19 trading days, and that's why I'm keeping track every day I move this over whenever I see that you know it's still on the list officially and i will confirm tonight if it's 20 trading days on the new york stock exchange threshold list only gets updated at 10 p.m eastern okay so we see the price action that dip and what i'm just saying right here is the math right so from the original t plus 35 date that it got on the list which was february 2nd it's calendar days it lands on march 9th 2023 and i'm taking that from when it got on the threshold list, February 2nd, 2023. All right, so that's about a week away. And that's when I can see things starting to get wild. In my opinion, this is my financial advice. Do your own research, make your own decisions. But it would make sense if we get this bounce here and we start moving up the next few days or a little bit sideways. If we see a huge gap up, then that means that nobody was willing to take on the FTDs. And that's why I want to continue to see it stay on the list. But remember, it's been on there for 19 days. And uh, today would be day 20. And if we beat the old record, because like I said, I've been seeing different influencers, different information out there that this is the longest it's been on the threshold. This is not true. The truth is it's been on the threshold list before for 44 trading days, right? And I have the proof right here. Again, just to show all y'all. From 9 18 2020, because only trading days count, until 12 1 2020. Okay, guys, that's my video for the day. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See you in the next one.